everybody who claims to, they know how to be successful, they are all wrong. Balance limits success. I will show you how to achieve actual success in this video. And I believe it will actually change your life forever. So don't scroll around because it's like, what's the point? <laughs> okay. I genuinely spent a year of my life feeling like I'm not making any progress. Feeling quite um, slow. And like, nothing's really going very quickly. But you know, saying to myself, oh well, you know, you just gotta wait and, you know, put in the work and, you know, eventually, you know, it'll all just come. And I kept waiting and never really did. I wish I could show myself this video because I think it would have completely changed how I approach my work and my life. So the first thing in this video is to write down some goals and we're not going to do it in some like silly way we're going to do it in like some like actionable ways so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of practical stuff in this video, so get get like a journal or like a piece of paper out. I'll, I'll get some paper for me. So you, you start by just writing down some goals. So who do you want to be? This is the question you got to ask yourself. Who do you want to be? I want to become... Honestly, I want to become a leader of a large movement of people. But that's one thing I genuinely want to become. Because it's, it's, it's literally my purpose, so... Well, not exactly, but it's, it's sort of the thing that would help me the most to achieve my purpose. So, that's one thing that I really want to become. You could write your list, whatever you want. Honestly, what do you want to become? It's not about what you want. It's not about the outcomes, it's about... about who you want to become for the outcomes. So instead of, I want to earn £10,000 a month, instead be like, I want to be a, I don't know, a consistent, like, hard-working entrepreneur. So you're not, it's not, it's not the figure you're aiming for, but it's the person that you want to be. You can still aim for the figure, obviously, but like, it's a lot better to just aim for the person you want to be. Because then you can make a lot more progress, because when it's a number, it's a bit vague. When it's the person you need to become, it's like, okay, I shall do this, this, and this. So what do you want to be, first of all? So just write your list, and then once you're done, the next thing I'm going to put is inputs. What do you need to do to become that thing? I want to become a leader of a large movement of people. Well, I actually have a formula for this. Um, I'm just going to do this formula. I'm going to get really, really good at it. And when I get good at that formula, then I'll be able to achieve success. Yeah, I like that is what I need to do. If I can master that formula, I'll become a better leader of a large movement of people. If I can uh, make better videos, it's literally just, yeah. If I can make better videos, if I could, I don't know. Um, let me think. If I could record more, just get better at the skill of recording. So, so, so just write down your inputs, right? And then you got your, you should have your inputs for your your goal right now. <laughs> and then like I, I am I am going pretty fast, but you can like pause the video as you're going along if you want. Okay, next, I want you to find your biggest constraint. So look at what we've just had. You've just written down your goal, right? Or the the list of things that you want to be. Pick the one that is constraining your life the most. What this means is, I don't want to just be a leader of a large movement. I also want to be like, like athletic and healthy. Honestly, like I, I want, I also want to be like, like I, I also want to have like lots of money. You know, like I, I want to be a lot of things, right? But you've got to decide which one is constraining your life the most. 
which one would which would sort of like feel like a lift off your shoulders if you achieved that's the one that you've really got to focus on it's not about which one you're the best at it's that it's about the which one that's constraining your life the most is your health currently constraining your life the most at the start of this year i was literally i was my health was so bad i couldn't record for two weeks straight and i just felt like trash all the time i was just eating tons of junk food at that time my health was constraining me more than my youtube channel more than my my money my health was constraining me though so i took three months of youtube and i just focused on my health and i got actually a lot better and that's how i've been able to record since so just decide which one like right now my biggest constraint is this youtube channel it not having it not growing as fast as i would like like that's my biggest constraint right now just find your biggest constraint and like circle it okay once you've circled your biggest constraint what we're going to do is we're going to dedicate our lives to this. Well, not our entire lives, but we're going to dedicate our lives to this for the next while. And this might sound, sound a bit extreme, but nothing else matters. If you could make it, like, nothing else matters other than this. It really doesn't. What you want to do is you want to set up your life in a way that completely focuses on this while maintaining all the other aspects of your life. This is very important that you maintain everything else because eventually you might, you might like, a lot of people do this where they just completely focus on work, but then like they stop walking and exercising and then their health goes down. So for example, I'm focused on YouTube right now, which means I can't focus on my exercise and I can't focus on my project and I can't focus on my health and I can't focus on all the other stuff, right? It doesn't mean my health is going down, right? Like, I'm like, all you need is to train like once a week. Like, literally, all you need to do is resistance training once a week, and you actually maintain your amount of muscle over a period of time. So, I just train once a week, and I'm actually maintaining the muscle. Which means, I used to be training every single day. So, I'm, I'm training, like, a seventh as much as I used to. But I'm still maintaining my muscle. So, it's like, you can literally just maintain it. So, this, write down how you're going to maintain your old life. And I'll put it in simple terms for you. So... So we've got a ball, and this ball is our energy. Hold up, one sec. Here we go, okay. This is how I understand it, right? So you've got this ball, right? And then that's your energy if you focus on one thing. That's your energy if you focus on many, many things. So it's, it's going in all different directions, right? So that's your skill, that's your health. That's your YouTube channel and that sort of thing. Or you can have this, where it just focuses all in one area. And what basically we're going to try and do, we're going to have this long arrow. This doesn't mean that you're saying goodbye to all your other goals. Right? Like that, That's not what we're doing. We're, we're maintaining all of our other aspects of our life. And we're getting really good at this one thing. And then in a minimum of three months, I'm, I think I'm going to do it for three months. I'd recommend you do it for about at least three months just to completely focus on one thing for at least three months because i think three months is the time in which you get the most benefit three months six months nine months 12 months like go as long as you can as long as it's longer than three months but eventually you'll find after about three to six to nine months you don't really need to focus on hard because it's no longer such a big constraint as it was at the start which is a really good sign and then you can focus on something else. So then you stop focusing on this on this one constraint, and instead you focus on your your next biggest constraint. So say say right now your biggest constraint is your health, and then you focus completely hard, really hard for the, say the next few months, and then it's no longer your constraint. Isn't that fantastic? Now your next constraint is that you're poor, right? <laughs> like, and then you can just focus completely hard on making money, and then and then like three months from then it's like oh wow I've actually got money in the bank account now, like. And then you just keep you keep working on that, and you keep sort of essentially essentializing like that, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on that for about three months. Whatever your biggest constraint is, we're going to completely focus, and I'm going to teach you how to do this in the rest of the video. Now we're going to write your your quarter goals. So a quarter is basically just a period of three months. So we're going to write quarter. goals and just underline that okay so you've picked the goal the, the thing that you really want to be 
Now, what are your goals to achieve that? What do you want to be to achieve that? So, honestly, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you my goals straight, bro. My quarter goals, and it's currently August the 5th, and I want to achieve this by September the 30th, right? I want to literally be on track to reach, to help 50,000 guys, like, just get better and just end their suffering. Well, that's, that's what I want to do. And then my second goal is to, oh, for a pencil book. <laughs> and then my second goal is to become confident in, like, a skill that helps me, you know, do my YouTube and that. Those, those are my two goals for this three-month period. And I'm currently one minute, one one month in, and I've got two months left. So I think I'm going to be able to achieve this. So whatever your quarter goals is, whatever the thing that you want to essentialize to, basically just ask yourself, what level do I need to get to for this constraint to go? Right. For a while. Is making a hundred pounds a month going to get rid of my money problems? Nah. So like make it a number or whatever that you think that you would be happy if you could get to. So honestly, if I could reach 50, if I could be on track to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I, I, I would be happy, right? I'd be happy to just essentialize on something else. So I, I'm, I'm just gonna write that in my quarter goals. Whatever it is, whatever the number is, whatever the thing, thingy is, whatever the thing you need to become is, just write that down. And then that's your quarter goal. And that's the thing we're gonna just focus heavily on because this is our biggest constraint anyway. Okay, now the next most important thing after we've got the quarter goals is to come up with the inputs for that goal. So we did this earlier, we came up with a bunch of inputs. Come up with the inputs for like the goal, right? So whatever the quarter goal is, what inputs are needed to achieve that quarter goal? Whatever it is. So for me, it's to uh, like achieve these skills. It's to do this activity, right? Whatever the inputs are needed to achieve that goal. Whatever you would, how much work you'd have to put in to achieve that. Once you do that, this thing is next, this next bit is very, very important, so pay attention. I want you to 80 20 the inputs. I want you to get rid of 80% of them. Because 80% of the things that you wrote down, you probably have a lot, very, very long list of inputs. 80% of them you don't even need to do. So, for example, me last year, my list of inputs for getting to a thousand subscribers was to edit and to make a thumbnail and to uh, make or make more shorts. And I could also, I could also, I could make this Discord server, and maybe that'd be good. I could work on that. And then I could like, right? It's just a very, very long list of things you don't really need to do. I want to cross out all of those shorts, thumbnails, Discord, whatever you've got. Because most of them are rubbish anyway, right? Get rid of all of your inputs. Honestly, bro, I want to achieve this goal. Guess how much work I'm putting in for it. I'm, I'm literally just spending my entire day working on it. But guess what, bro? I'm not just working on, like, 17 different things. Yo, if I showed you my routine, you'd think I'm crazy. Because I just spend my days doing, like, two, sometimes three things. Most of the time, two. I do two things. I have two things that I get done every single day. Number one thing is just recording videos. Like, before this video, probably like, oh, oh Sam, Sam sat down and recorded. I've recorded three videos just, like, within the last couple of hours. It's not even 10 o'clock. I've already done all my work, bro, after this video is finished. I'm, I'm going for a lovely walk after this. It'll be lovely. Number one thing is just to record the videos. And the number two thing is to just learn how to record better videos. So that's the thing I spend... Like, when I'm not... If, if you're... Looking at if you're watching this right now and you're wondering what I'm doing right now, as long as it's before 10 o'clock, I'm learning about how to record better videos. That's what I'm doing right now. Like, like genuinely, bro. Like, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm learning about how to record better videos. Like, so, literally, I just spend my days doing those two things. And that's what you want. You don't want six, 16 different things that, you, that you're doing every single day. You want like one, two, maybe three things that you do every single day and you just completely focus on. For me, it's recording and learning. For you, say say if it was going to the gym, it would, like, like trying to build muscle, it would be like,
going to the gym. I just go to the gym three hours a day, honestly. Like, why not? And then my second thing would probably be like bulking. I don't know. Bulking and maybe just like, I maybe just learning how to train better because there's so many stuff, so much stuff there. Yeah, I I just spend my days. Maybe we could get rid of bulking. Or, no, we'll keep bulking. Yeah, like this. I just spend my days doing those three things. If I were to like focus on like, going to the gym, just for an example, come up with those two free things, one to three things that is like the twenty percent that gives the eighty percent, because this is like a mathematical formula. 20% of the inputs that we've just written down give 80% of the outputs, right? So if you just if you can just 80 20 your your inputs, you'll literally like 80% the amount of work you ought to do. And then you'll be able to work harder on those few things. So you get rid of all the editing, the thumbnails, the shorts, the Discord, the whatever. And I I my 80 20 is just recording and learning. Okay, now you've got your 80 20 inputs. And once you've done that, now you're at a really good stage and the rest of the video is going to completely change everything. Okay. I think we'll start with the routine. So now I want you to make a daily routine. So like this might sound complicated. Literally just write down the time you wake up most days. So I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. So I'm just going to write the 6 a.m. And then I go to sleep at 10 p.m. every single night. So I'm just going to write that and then write down your meals. So I go have lunch about here and I have tea about here and yeah. And then literally just fill your day with all the activities you have to do. Like you have to eat, you have to wake up, you have to go to sleep. Anything else you have, like have to do, just add it with that. Like and, and nothing that you want to do, but say you have to do, right? Like it, Like if you've got to go to school, then just put that in, put all of that in. And then you'll be able to see how your time is ordered. And what things you've got to do and what things, what time slots you actually have. And then what you do, you fill those time slots with the inputs we've got earlier. When we 80-20 the things. So literally, what I do in my day, I wake up, I do a little morning routine, just a few small habits. Like I had a shower this morning. and Like I like had a shower, I did like wrote something in my gratitude journal. I brushed my teeth, like all those little things. And then you just spend the rest of your time doing one of the 80 20 tasks so whichever one's the hardest do it first thing in the morning that's very important whichever one's the hardest do it first thing in the morning this really helps your sleep as well it's really good if you just do it first thing so i literally it's, it's not even 10 o'clock and i've already i've spent like i started recording just under two hours ago and I've, i'm still recording like as you can see like <laughs> so do the recording and then do like maybe another small habit and then just spend the rest of your time slots filled in with whatever other 80-20 habits you've got. If you've only got, there's, if there's only one habit, there's typically two or three. But if there's only one habit, just spend your entire time doing that one habit. And then just fill up all of your free time with that one thing. Literally. Like, I record every single day for like an hour, two hours straight. And I just spend so much of my time, like hours and hours, I spend like 10 hours a day just learning how to record better videos. Just fill all of your free time with this. Like fill all of it, like every every last minute, just fill it with free time. And then you can do what I do if you want. You could have an hour before bed where you just sort of relax and like read and whatever. So that's sort of like my free time where I just like relax. And like I get to lay on my bed and I get to like not work for a while. <laughs> and then... Yeah, literally just fill it up with those two things, two or three things, and that's your life. And then you can also fill it up with your, like, maintenance activities. So if you want to do, like, you can write down maintenance activities. So say you've been going for, for the, to the gym for a while, and so you, you still need to train, then you can just put, like, training once per week. Like, literally, only you... I think it's something, like, you need one set per, like, muscle group per week to maintain muscle, like literally. So you can literally just do one training session a week, but it's like I say a, a big like one hour set, like a, like a one hour one. So, so like a one hour training session per week. Only do this if you're consistent at the gym, by the way, because it's a lot harder when you're not consistent. And then that will literally just maintain your muscle if you can stick to that. And then for another maintenance activity, you could be like, oh, well, like what about this? And what about this? And what about, uh, I don't know, like, homework like 
you can probably do it like lunchtime or something while you're talking to your friends. Like, it's for you. You'll find ways to maintain all the other aspects of your life. Like, I spend like an hour or two just talking to my family to maintain the relationships and to just come up with all the maintenance activities you've got to do and then fill some of your time with those maintenance activities just so you're still maintaining your current life. Try and do it as least as possible. Like, I'd, I'd aim for like one session per week for any like big activities you've got to do. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next thing we're going to do. Okay, you might be looking at this now. Okay, so we've got routine. We've got the most important habits in there. And we've got maintenance habits, so we're still maintaining our current life. But Sam, I can't do this. How am I supposed to stay consistent? How am I supposed to improve these things? And the next thing you do, which is something I started to do recently, and it's had such a great benefit on my life, is to make sort of like one of these, that there's sort of like... It's sort of like a habit tracker, so it's it's quite simple. Like I'll get you, I'll get you mine off the wall. Um, it's hard to. I'll, I'll just pick up my phone. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is my habit tracker here. There we go. So it literally just it's a list of things I like to do, and then I've got a tick. See. So they, these are all the things that I did yesterday. I got all of them done, and then the day before I missed a couple. So you see, literally just you get a piece of paper and then you just write down all the habits that you want to do. So say if some of the inputs you aren't currently doing, what you do is you literally just, you just draw lines, like sort of like a, like a column type thing. So you can put all of your stuff in there. It's, it's, it's quite simple. I, I'll do it. I'll try to do it on like a smaller, I'll, I'll do it pretty rough because it, it does take like a little bit to do. <laughs> I guess see, hold up. Is that better? Yeah, can you see? Uh, oh, that's better. Okay. So li literally just like draw your lines. I mean. I'm mean, I'm just gonna do it really rough for show, so you can probably do it a lot neater. And then once you draw your lines, have days on the side. So day one, day uh, I don't know two, day three, and then you just have your habits. So say your one is like I don't know, like mine is like recording. So I'll just put recording, and then I'll just put learning. And then I'll just put, like, the maintenance activity thing. And then on day one, I'll put a tick. And then I didn't do that. And then I did that. And this, like, it, what it does is it, it reinforces your habits. So, like, to say this quite simply, like... <laughs> so, do you see that? There we go. That's, that's what I've done. So, you can obviously do it a lot neater than that. That was just pretty rough for show. But some... Um, if you just do it like this, it will reinforce the habits. Like what I mean by this is, it will, you'll see it and you'll, it will remind you to do these habits. Next thing, it will make it easy because it will just, it will just make it more fun. And it will make it satisfying for when you actually complete the habit. So when I finish recording, I'm just going to give a big tick, you know, on, on my habit tracker up here. And I'm going to, and it's going to feel really good. And it's like, almost like I accomplished something today. And if you can give yourself that feeling from just filling out your habit tracker, it can be a bit tricky if you find it hard to get consistent at things like this. But if you can get consistent at it, it will make all of your other habits so much easier. And then you just fill this with all the habits that are like the 80-20 most important. And then what you do is you fill the rest with micro habits. So you could have a micro habit. Like what a micro habit is, is a habit inside a habit. This is a new idea I've come up with. So say we've got the habit of recording videos that's a habit right a micro habit is a habit inside a habit so a micro habit could be i don't know like like looking directly at the camera when i'm recording that could be a micro habit so you could fill out the rest with micro habits that are important for you to improve at your like skill or whatever you're trying to do so just come up with a list of micro habits and then fill the rest of your habit track with that and then just keep trying to do those micro habits day after day, week after week. And you'll find that you get more and more consistent as time goes on. And you'll be able to see your progress and you'll actually be like happy when you see all of it. Okay, so I'd highly recommend you do that. I've been doing this recently. I genuinely think it's a game changer, honestly. I'm surprised I haven't been doing this before. And the last step, honestly, yeah, like this video is so much value made, but the last step is to create a weekly actions, just piece of paper. So I'd highly recommend all of these things we've been talking about. 
what you do is something like what I've got. I literally, in front of me right now, I have a wall, like, going up from, like, where my hand is now to, like, almost as high as the ceiling of just paper after paper with all of this sort of stuff on it. And it's literally just covered. And I look at it every single day. I highly recommend you, like, just, like, sellotape some papers on the wall and you just have this in front of you as you, like, wherever you, like, sit most, most, most often. And just, you can just look at it every day and just remind you of all of this. So helpful. And what you can do, you can write, and you, and you can sellotape to that wall, like, weekly actions. So, these are just actions that you will do, like, every week to make more progress. So, maybe you could say, like, get consistent at the 80-20 habits Sam talked about. That, that could literally just be like your your weekly action for this week if you just want one to start off with and then whatever else would benefit you the most yeah get consistent at the 80 20 habits um make my habit tracker i don't know like fill, fill this in do this whatever weekly actions you need to achieve this get rid of this constraint just put that down and honestly bro this is my like this is my entire system for success and I genuinely think it's I've really thought through this like this is this is a year of just thinking and trial and, and error to come up with all of this and I think I'm like after doing all of this I'm on a really good route to success I hope that really helped um <laughs> I've just been focused so hard like I've, I've been uploading most of my videos onto my second channel that's when I'm really like trying to grow and then these videos I want them to be like more full more in depth about stuff I am really, really passionate and interested about, and I think this was a good, this is a good one to make. Um, yeah. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I hope I can focus a bit more on this YouTube channel. That's 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 the thing I really want to do, but we'll have to see because it's annoying when you um because I've been focused so much on this other channel, it's hard because it's like if I wanted to make videos really good on this channel, it would be like I'd have to put in like even more work, and because it's not an all, maybe it's just, maybe I'm just making excuses, I don't know, maybe I am, hard to say, I guess, but I would like to focus more on this channel, like, making more of these, like, full, really valuable sort of guide type of things, <laughs> so, I'll just, I'll just go through a brief summary, so, you start by coming up with your goals, then you find your biggest constraint, on those goals, then you 80-20, I'm sorry, then you come up with a list of inputs for that main goal that you've now got, and that would be your quarter goal, and then you 80-20 those inputs to come up with the most important one, two, or three things that you need to achieve that goal, and then you make a habit tracker for all the habits, for those all those in habit inputs that you have to put in, and then you make a routine for where you're going to put everything in your day and how you're going to do the habits. And then you write some weekly actions that you can do to make even more progress towards that. If you can write all this stuff on your wall and just keep it there, you'll, you'll find yourself just looking at it over and over and over. And it'll just, it'll just keep your brain ticking at that, at that specific thing. I think that's, that's a really good way. That is everything I know about setting up your life for success. I might know a few more things, but I, not off the top of my head, so that's literally, like, I've got my entire wall here. One more tip I'll give you as, like, a little bonus is, is when you hear something that's, that you think would be really beneficial for your life, that you think is actually quite, like, a valuable saying, write it in, like, bubble writing and just stick it, like, in a big piece of paper on your wall. Like, I've got, like, six, seven of these. Like, I've got articulate his pain perfectly that's a really good line and i think it would really help me um i've got another one no work think about work so if i'm not working just think about work that's a really good thing and it, you'll just find yourself looking at them and then it's like when i'm not working i'm thinking about working like you, you just find yourself thinking about and that's another tip to set up your life for success have these sort of like bubble ratings around your room just to remind you of like 
just to like sort of like almost like trigger your thinking. That's really helpful though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro. That is 30 minutes of just pure how I have set up my life for success. That was actually quite, that was a lot of value in there, but yeah, that's everything I know, bro. I hope that really helped. I, I swear if you follow all of this stuff, it's genuinely completely life-changing. You would like, honestly, like my life feels so, like I'm making so much progress. I've never made this much progress in my entire life on one thing as I am doing right now. And it's exciting and, and thrilling. And this is the system I'm using to do that. So if you copy this system, bro. There. Jeez. Now this is next level, mate. Okay, but anyway. My name is Sam. Our name is Seven. Fix your brokenness for your purpose. <laughs>